Hey guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at Hyper Graphics Pack. Now this pack is designed by Easy Edit who is known for their professional motion graphic templates. This pack consists of over 500 plus elements under different categories like typography, backgrounds, infographic, transitions, lower third, social medias and much more. Also this pack has some of the most unique designs which you will not find in any other pack. Not only this, it is powered by Easy Edit Viewer extension which gives you some of the amazing features like organized category, quick preview, one click add, auto resize and much more. With that being said, this is Abhishek from Motion Nations and let's jump straight into this video and get started. Alright so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already installed the pack. So after installation you can access it by simply going to windows and under extension just enable easy edit viewer and it will give you a nice talkable panel just like this. So you can align it anywhere in your UI. Now the best thing about this panel is it is completely responsive so you can change its dimensions and all the elements inside it will adjust according to the panel size or you can quickly adjust their size by using this slider so you can make them smaller or larger however you want so you can simply preview all these elements by simply hovering over to them and in this area you will get a nice preview of all the elements that are present inside this pack and if you click over here you will get access to the categories which are available in this pack so over here you can see that we have some subcategories so you can simply click on any one of them and it will take you to that category and in the same way you can preview all the other categories by simply hovering over to them now let me show you how easy it is to use this pack so first of all we are going to create a new composition so let's call this test and let's select the ST video and just click on OK. So after you have your composition active, you can simply import any of these elements by simply clicking on the import icon. And if I click over here, you can see that it will import the element. So once it is finished with the import process, you can simply preview it just like this. Now let's see how to edit these elements. So if you want to edit any of these elements, just simply open up the composition. Over here you can see that we have two different compositions. So you can select any one of them. And if you go under effects and control panel, you can see that we have some controllers over here. So you can change the color of the text and whatever you have by simply changing the color over here. In the same way you can change the color of the text box and stuff like this. So this is totally up to you however you want to go with the look. Also if you want a solid background instead of a pattern behind your text you can simply increase the background opacity and it will give you a plain box for which you can change colors to whatever you want and just like this you will get the same animation with a solid background. So this feature is present in all the ready made scenes which are available inside the pack. And if you don't want the background, just simply set the opacity to zero. Also, you can access the pattern options by simply selecting the pattern composition. And over here, you can change the colors to however you want, just like this. To get different looks, however you want them to look. And one more thing, you can change the timing of the animation by simply dragging these handle so if you want this animation to last till 7 seconds you can just simply select the end point and just drag it to 7 seconds and now if I play back here you can see that our animation will adjust according to the 7 second duration and in the same way you can reduce the speed by simply dragging it to something like 1 second and if I play back here you can see that now the animation was quite faster in the same way you can play around with the ending animation so just move them however you want and you can change the duration of in and out timing for all the elements just like this now if you want to change the text all you have to do is just simply go inside the composition and over here you can see that we have the text part so you can just double click and type whatever text you want and once the text has been updated you can change its position by simply selecting one of the text controller and just simply move it to wherever you want and now if i play back here you can see that we have the same animation but with our different text in the same way you can edit this text also also there is one more cool feature over here so if i enable the transparency you can see that we have this main text box so you can 
increase its opacity and it will give you an additional box which you can use to show the shadows so over here you can change its position and align it however and wherever you want just like this and you can also change its size you can tweak it however you want and if i go back here you can see that we have this really nice shadow box behind our main text and this is how you can edit all the elements inside this pack and over here you can see that we have some ready-made scenes these scenes are already been created using all the elements which are present within the pack so you can turn up your creativity and create however different looks you want using the elements within this pack so there are different categories to choose from over here you can see that we have some really nice gradient looks with some pattern animation and stuff like that so you can just simply play around and change your text to give whatever look you want to go for and over here we have some really nice clean typography which you can use to reveal text for different purposes now one of the highlighted features of this pack is the auto resize so let me show you what it means over here you can see that we have three different composition we have the regular 1920 by 1080 the vertical comp with 1080 by 1920 and the square composition with 1920 by 1920 so let me select one of these elements and if i click on import and let me just do that in all the three comps and if i go back to the first composition over here you can see that we have this animation and now if i go back to the second composition you can see that all the animations have aligned themselves according to the comp dimensions and if i go to the third one over here you can see that we have the different look for different composition so in this way all the elements inside the typography section the background section and the transition section will adjust their dimensions according to the size of the composition which is very handy when you are dealing with different resolutions now let's check out the background section and let me just clear this composition and over here you can see that we have some simple gradient animations and you can quickly jump to different gradient backgrounds just like this over here you can see that we have some pattern animations and let's just quickly import one of these and just simply click on import and it will import wherever your cursor is pointing and over here you can see that we have some gradient animation so you can change their color by simply selecting different colors from here just like this and in the same way you can edit all the colors one more thing you can see that there are transition types so if you play back from the starting you can see that we have this linear wipe transition so you can change different type of transitions by simply selecting different number so let's go with five and now if i play back here you can see that we have different transition so you can choose different numbers so over here we have the transition number 10 so in the same way you can play around with this slider to get different transitions however you want and in the same way you can edit all the patterns as well so let me just quickly import this one and over here also you will get the same type of options so you can change the transitions you can change the colors just like this and in the same way you can edit all these patterns so now let's jump to the element section over here we have some simple elements so you can simply import them by clicking on this import icon and you can once again change their look by simply selecting different colors from here like this and you can change their in and out time by simply selecting these handles just like we did with the pre-made scenes and it will change the animation accordingly so in the same way you can edit all these simple shapes and over here we have some interesting gradient elements which looks very impressive so let me just quickly import one of these and once again you can change the look by simply selecting different colors you can also enable the shadow if you want and in the same way we have some complex elements so these are very unique which you will not find in any other pack and once again it's very easy to use and edit just like we did with these ones and in this section we have some really nice lower thirds which you can use for different purposes so for example you can use this one to show a chat message and under this section you will get different callouts which you can use to represent properties of any elements if you want to show price or stuff like that now there is a complete tutorial in which you can find how you can 
add tracking to these callouts so that these will follow to whatever element you want to display link for that will be in the description as well and over here we have infographics which you can use to visualize data and let me just quickly show you how easy it is to use them so over here we have this bar graph and if i go inside this composition you can simply select whatever text you want and you can type different parameters which you want to display and you can also change the height of this graph by simply selecting the controller and over here you can see that we have max values so you can simply change the value to whatever you want and if you play back you can see that all the values have already been updated and you do not have to worry about animation for individual step all you have to do is just simply change the value to whatever you want to represent with the graph and it will automatically update inside the animation so let's check out some of the transitions now this pack comes with some flat transitions which you can use to transition between different scenes and over here we have some seamless transitions which are right now in pretty much trend so you can use them to transition between different scenes and let me show you some of the cool features of this extension and let's say you use some of the elements quite oftenly and you really like them so you can simply click on this star icon and it will add them to your favorite section and you can quickly access them by simply going under this star category and if you click over here you can see that it will show you all the elements which you have set to favorite and you can quickly import them from here and in the same way you can remove them just like this also you can use the quick search feature to search for different elements quickly not only this there is an inbuilt store within this extension from where you can check out different packs that are available from easy edit so you can quickly buy them from here as well you can also access the inbuilt support by simply going over here and you can type whatever query you have and you can directly ask them from the developers so there are different categories for different programs which you use and you can buy them and simply import them into this extension and you can use them from here so overall it's a very impressive pack with some unique design and animations which you won't find in any other pack now in case you are not sure whether you should get this pack or not well there is a free demo version which you can use and try out different features which are available inside this pack before purchasing the full one also if you purchase this pack once then you will get access to all the free updates with completely new categories and elements in future so for more details you can check out the links in the description below with that being said this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one